Hey everybody, Asher here, and it is time for more Star Sector, where you can see we are zooming right in front of Mance. And it's been, uh, well, it's been a little bit of time since I recorded the last episode. In the last episode, we learned a valuable lesson about reading the print here and making sure that if we're going to be trying to smuggle in 480 units of volatiles into uh, systems, we don't go for the most militarized guarded system by one of the most militarized factions. The Dictat, who uh, some things never change. They have all the planets in their system, and they're highly guarded. So we're going to make the Independents slightly mad at us. It's fine. We have other stuff we got to do. We have other trades we've got to do. We have another officer to actually break in. Going to add right now to Alan. Please add name. Although there's some other ships that maybe. You know what, maybe I will put you on the um, Stellar Oblivion instead. Well, let's see here. Let's look at our skills on one time. Target Analysis and Energy Weapon Mastery. And this is an Energy Weapon, Energy Weapon, Strike Missile versus um, Stellar Oblivion. That's, we do have a Primary Ballistic here, or the DMS Wizard. Yeah, I think we, I think we do stick to Alan. Please add name, but um, we, okay, once again, right-clicking, left-clicking, it is a constant challenge for me. As we are going through the names of officers here, I do um, continue to thank you all for uh, going in here and adding on here. Today, we're going to learn a new word together. Uh, this is suggested by Nota Wolf. I'm going to assume that's Nota Wolf and not not a wolf, which would be hilarious um, because we have, um, let me see, I'm spelling right, V-L-E-E-R... M-U-I-S-J-E. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. Little bat. So that's very exciting. Um, a reckless officer with target analysis. Energy weapon mastery. We want to get up in close range, which is fun with frigates. I have a cat trying to suddenly be like, Oh, you're talking! Let me let me come and go at you a little bit and start attacking your papers. So we will, we will see what that develops there. But as we continue to build our officer, office, officer roster, we have a nice ship roster too. But we need to identify some potential trades here. Um, first off, comm directory. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Oh, another thing I need to do. Long overdue homework is that we have some shit sitting in port at Akari. And I really need to take that back. Oh, you've just you have decided to claw my chair. That's not that's not very nice. Yes, it's like how much of this is Star Sector and how much of this is me talking to a cat? I guess that's a that's a big question here. But we do need to tow our stuff down to Green. I swear it looked a lot closer <laughs> when uh, I founded the colony, but still, it's too good not to. Urid actually has a technology cache here. Maybe we maybe we do that on the way back and forth. That's technically not fighting. We don't have to fight anything to do that, right? Hey, does it count as war if we have our beacon off and we're out and far and away? We're not going to talk about that. By the way, thank you for those in the comments that pointed out that I didn't know the alphabet in Brighton was actually at the very start. You can tell when I'm recording this now. Uh, combat results from Brighton Federation. That's old. I've gotten some great suggestions for Brighton. Um, as long as the Luda Church is uh, allied with them, it's going to be a good time. So we do have some metal plates. Um, unfortunately, we can't flip those for a very good profit because we can't trade from the derelicts, and we don't really have a lot of marines to, like, steal from the derelicts either. Um, I do have some volatiles that I'd love to flip. I don't want to flip them at Tech Duin because that is one of the hyperspace sta scary, scary stations. Um, funny that the Dictat still needs that and still has a deficit on it. I could always just trade it myself. Um... But the one thing I did identify as a potential source for income here is the Ludic Path needs supplies pretty badly, and we can buy them from right here. So this seems like a decent place to start. We have no suspicion at this point, which is very exciting. I'm just going to dump the metal plates, because why have no suspicion when you can have even more than no suspicion? Oh my god, this is, this is really happening. This is really actually happening. Okay, okay. I pause this real quick. I can't. I can't talk about it this much. Yep. There we go. Kick the table. That's fine. Here, look who's look who's getting bigger. Just he he really likes getting into stuff. So, how are you doing? He's he's very cute. He's very sweet. He's starting to figure out that uh, he's getting bigger and he doesn't know what to do with that for his body. So. Go, kitten. That's all you wanted. All right. See if I lose my uh, mouse pointer for that, because we're actually very close to a level as well. 
So we're probably going to get another one of those, and then we'll take a spin, and the spin might be um, who knows what. Um, but yeah, very exciting. Let's go back to our regularly scheduled programming, though, which is supplies. I'm going to buy some supplies off the black market. That's going to actually appreciate the price a little bit on the regular market here, but not enough to really matter. We still have no suspicion, so awesome. We can buy out as many supplies as we can carry and hopefully turn a good profit. If for some reason we can't trade, wait a minute. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. It's like, I thought, I thought, why are we trading at the hegemony? That's so stupid. Okay, um, we're not. Um, 2.7 Southeast is not very far. We can go to the Draco group maybe. I mean, the Ludic Path doesn't like us very much. Neither does the other place here. Um, gotta, gotta learn how to read a map though. So, Kingdom of Terra. Oh wow, Kingdom of Terra is actually, uh, this entire colony area has been split up and not in a good way for, um, for, um, the Reuters. But as long as the Reuters don't piss people off, that's fine. Kingdom of Terra being incredibly expansionist. Why am I not shocked by this? All right, one more time. We're going to look here. We're going to be patient. Learn to read. It's in... What star system? Cathan. Cathan. It's to the south. That's why. Okay. That's so I did. I did have it right. Cathan. I wanna be over there. We can go to the fringe jump point. I'm just hoping that we can just dive on in. We have a pretty big fleet, but let's go ahead and do this first. We are. We are trying to be. We are trying to be good. Um. I probably need to turn on my transponder. Just so they know who we are. Are you actually pursuing me? No, you're mining ore. That's fine. We lost a little bit of money, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, the um, early game land grab is almost done. You're a pirate. You're a dumbass pirate, that's for sure. Delivery failed. That's not a sensor ghost. That is a uh, group that's avoiding contact with me, but that's fine because I can't actually fight them because a mysterious wheel from deep space told me to not fight. So try attacks like whatever, we're patrolling, we're not gonna um, bump you on um, faction rating stuff. I am still gonna look for exploration missions, but I do need to kind of stay closer to my people. Oh, pirate activity here. Well, that's, that could be really good for me. Is this a derelict, this is an independent mission. It's actually not too far from us here. And it's in a system I've already been to. I think I take it. Um, so does running a bounty count as making war? Yes. By the rules that I've imposed on myself, I can't accept the bounty. But if I just so happen to have people try to fight me, then I guess we just do what we do. Okay, so somebody's possibly coming after me in just a minute. I just want to I just want to smuggle some shit. I really just want to get y'all supplies. So here we go. It's a hostile station, but regrettably, we can't turn on our transponder, so it's not that hostile. We got a cleanup performed for some reason. I'm assuming that's one of the mods kind of fixing some memory overflow stuff. They have a big ass supply problem. I could take really good advantage of this. Um, I mean, I could, I could help them in their time of need. Do they have anything I could flip once again? There is the whole market tab info over here for like stuff that they may be able to trade away, but we don't we don't worry about that as much here. First off, how many supplies am I selling? We're gonna sell them on the black market because we're already we're already in deep anyway. So I just don't want to sell all of them. So we're gonna just make a nice friendly stack here, and we're gonna make a nice friendly stack here. Keep two fifty for ourselves. Um, that's that's more than enough for us trading around and um, Bada bing bought a 308 There we go. So we gained some experience do 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 do. Oh, I just did the Final Fantasy 7 music Final Fantasy 6 Final Fantasy 4 Final Fantasy something Okay You all still have a deficit Interestingly Togar is where we want to do our next trade. So can we route this pretty well? Lilith Psy Nation seems okay. Uh, the hegemony over at Izeth 
seems okay. So yeah, we're I think the play is going to be just to bounce around supplies for a little bit, which means we need to uh, dump these volatiles somewhere. Um, Dictat still seems like the best place for it. So maybe, maybe we just have a little bit more cargo than maybe I was planning on for a while. I could dump some of this other stuff. I don't really need. You guys have fun. Enjoy your uh, transplutonic ore. Enjoy some heavy machinery, although not all the heavy machinery. Enjoy these parting gifts. I could even get rid of some of the tiny weapons, but we're running a bunch of frigates, so I actually kind of do plan on using it. Do you guys have anything that's worth trading? That's a bad margin. That's that's interesting. That's probably the only thing they have in excess. Um, Henan kind of puts us in the right direction. This uh, this ore would be really good to flip if I had more cargo. This would be like amazing. Two to thirteen, not as not as high as I've done in other saves, um, but at least uh, the Henan customs we could buy a thousand and make it work there is once again I have same kitten attacking same power cable same unplugging my phone from the charger like a moron what are you what are you he's actually trying to electrocute himself oh you cat okay so that was exciting they they actually need weapons here too everybody needs weapons all of a sudden um too bad we can't oh wow Akari actually has a good sale for that um okay I think we have a plan. Let's uh, let's put that plan in action. Okay, so like I said, we're, we're seriously trying to make some trades here just to try and make it work. They only have excess of 500, which suits our needs just fine. Um, and now that we're over here, where do we want to take this to? We could take it over towards the Vic. We want to work up towards where we can buy cheap weapons. So going up to Henan Customs is fine. So let's do that. That's not you, although I could go back there and uh, make my sale. There we go. Should probably check here, the United Pam Med, do you guys hate me? Because if you hate me, this is going to be a little more awkward. They're just suspicious. That's cool. You'll be a little more suspicious after I trade on your black market. By the way, which, um, which planet wants this shit? I don't know. Alright, sorry for the interruption. I, I, norm I used to be able to do so much of this in just one take. And now I have to deal with weird interruptions. It's okay. So that's actually going to put us fairly on route for trading this stuff off. So that's excellent. Um, Transplatonic ore. Which one is it? Henan Customs. Uh, well, they don't hate us. So we'll just head right over there. And hopefully they have better fuel stuff. Uh, anything on the comm directory? Mercenary officer. Don't really care. Uh, dockside bar. Private captain. Um, you want to sell us what? Nebula. Hmm. Nah. That I mean, that looks fun. A ludic path nebula with a logo and everything, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. All right, so we got to make sure we don't accidentally get aggroed here with the space station on the way out. Oh, we accidentally got aggroed with the space station on the way out. Disengage. That's worth it. We're, that we're, I don't mind burning story points this early. For stuff like this, we've we've accumulated up, and just like that, we gained experience from uh, profitable trades. We're still going to continue to make trades because this is this is the money making. We're at the end. We're at the end here. But now you know what it means. It's time for me to have a disaster of a wheel of actual. Where's the word actual doom? There we go. We got it. We got it. Well, oh, we need the actual doom. Here we go. So once again, we're going to see if we can do this without having a wheel-based error or a mouse pointer error. Uh, the make trades, not war, that time is done. Now we're rolling for something that is for at least this level. No permanent rolls this time. It is... All abilities can only be used on days of the month divisible by seven. Oh, man. Uh, Sassafert or Sassafart. Oh, yeah. It was like, I can't accept this. I can't actually, like, focus enough to know um, what we're doing here. But now we have to pay attention to the clock here. When we say all abilities, now there are different abilities here, as we did, in fact, lose the mouse pointer for a second. Um, I am going to actually... 
do this. We know it's on the wheel. I'm going to see if I can bullshit making this work again without having to restart stuff here. So let's close this window because I think that's what's eating the mouse pointer. And we're back. Cool. Nailed it. So this means abilities. I, I don't count the transponder as an ability. Or is it an ability? Oh, fuck. It might be an ability. Um, yeah, you know what? This is the abilities bar. We can't engage or disengage in a sustained burn except on the seventh day of the month. We can't transverse jump, except on the seventh day of the month, but wait, there's more. Ship combat, let's not forget here that all of our ships have abilities. I'm not allowed to use my abilities, except for if it's 7, 14, 21, or 28th day of the month. So I guess when I'm gonna be making my trades here in a second, I better remember to turn on my transponder in time. And we're about to, um, Let's give it a let's give it a second here. All right, so one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Uh, we're just gonna go anyway. So it's all about the math. That is okay. We got pirates and pathers. We can actually fight these people now. Do I actually fight these people now? Uh, they have a falcon here. They have these guys. The problem is I'm gonna get a little overwhelmed. But we do have a bounty that we can get for this, and we kind of need some more supplies. Because suddenly we're burning 57 supplies per month. It's like I traded all my supplies away. Let's see what we can get here. Okay. So you're actually going to, like, beat me down here. So we can't actually reactivate that except for on the seventh day of the month here. So October what? I'm going to have to, like, pause to make this work. Jesus. The wheel of actual math. Okay, October 12th. We do not want to miss our ability day. October 13th. What if there's an emergency? Oh god, okay. Um, October 13th, and ability day! Yes, transponder on, sustained burn. Uh, analyze a research station coming up on here. That is on the other side of the system. I'm gonna accept it anyway, because it's a research station. Um, it's in a nebula. That's fine. Okay. How, how long am I gonna be stuck in level 6? Also, I didn't assign points at the wheel spin. We're going to do that now, just because I got I got too excited by math. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to do sensors, and we're going to skip these. But I'm there's a lot of stuff that I want at the end here. I definitely want to get to automated ships, and I want to get to some of this stuff. So I think maybe the best thing I can do here, coordinated maneuvers is fun. And it affects everybody. This one is also good for all combat readiness for everybody. That's going to hurt for like the current repair build, but we have to do it now. Fighter Umflink, not as good. The big thing is that I want to get to these and then to these. So let's go ahead and add sensors. I think that's fine. And then I'm a, I'm a big fan of combat readiness. Um, nav rating is cool and everything, but we're... Command point recovery rate from deployed frigates, 25 for destroyers. We're going to do crew training. Okay, confirm that. I don't think there's any officers that actually need some stuff. Let's try left-clicking this time. There we go. Nobody's leveled up yet. Okay. So we can make war, but more importantly, we can now fly free just like we meant to. Okay. Now that we're up here, hopefully the trade's still good here. Um, we actually have an independent place here at grid L3 which does not have a uh, jump point near it. Um, I guess we're gonna have to just go in this way. Fortunately, since I don't have to click on the ability bar, I am uh, able to actually go in and out here. But yeah, we've actually used all of our supplies. So that's a little bit of a problem. So yeah, this isn't an ability. All of these are abilities, so we can't even go dark. It's fun. Okay, so here's the wall. There's a really nice, happy fleet. Hopefully Reuters don't get mad at us at the last second here. Comm directory, just a quartermaster, portmaster. The bar, we have a rakish person and a woman offering military bounties. Well, I guess I guess we can check this out here. What's your manageable target? Down in the quarter, 40 light years away. Um, that's, that's not even worth my time. Um, unsanctioned bounty board, we still have... Um, this thing destroy the enemy flagship and make sure it's not recovered 
I'm just going to figure this out here. And then last rodeo from the Persian League. For, uh, no risks whatsoever. Are you sure? Because that's like a cruiser, a cruiser, and a cruiser. I don't trust that rating. Um, it's cool. Okay, trades. Black market trading. We are not suspicious. They now need a thousand of this. Well, I guess we only bought it because of the 500 before. That's not as good of a profit margin as hoping for, but it's fine. Um, they have a massive supply deficit. Um, well, that's fascinating. The Veliset has no supply deficit. And um, these guys do. We can we can work with that for just a second. Um, and you guys, wow, uh, Desalt Miakin actually needs these more, so we'll we'll make that work. Okay, so we kind of wanted to visit this place anyway. Don't know why you'd want to settle on an acid world. We're almost up to an ability day. Oh, this is gonna like trigger me for the rest of the series. I'm gonna be looking up constantly in the calendar to be like. Am I allowed to do this this time? Uh, this makes uh, deep space exploration a lot more dangerous, by the way, obviously. So that's fun. You guys um, don't actually have surplus. You just have a lot of shit. So let's just buy it on the open market. Oh, wait. Let's see. What is? We don't know what their deficit is. But we do know some other places with some pretty serious deficit. So this is fine. All right. I'd much prefer to buy what I can off the open market. It's not going to move the price needle very much. All right. By the way, what kind of ships do y'all sell? Um, oh, Buffalo Freighters. Do I have... Um, how many destroyers do I have in my fleet? Just the one, the Cheaty Cheaterson. And the uh, swordsman. Okay, can't can't pull another one there. Um, we don't level up on our ship cap until we get level ten. So this is fine. This is I'm just trying to get more things in there. So 126 supplies. We're not going to buy 192 now. I should have overcapped that when I had the chance. Anything that you all can sell here? Um, not really. Not really. That's decent, I guess, but. Not really. Once again, we got to find a buyer for this stuff is the problem. Um, everybody needs organs. You should just do 1-800-CARS-FOR-ORGANS.COM, right? Okay, so anyway, we're going to make we're gonna make the trade we know we can make. You guys are uh, pursuing... Is that Reuters or Raiders? You're pursuing Reuters. Should I be concerned... It looks like it's a bunch of pirates. Well, you know what they say, Reuters, they don't stick together. So that's fine. Um, neutral here. Let's make a trade. Um, they have 1,500 deficit. That actually works fine. Um, 180. Uh, so somebody, okay, nobody, nobody made a deal here. So 238 here is cool. That's even more money. You guys are fine now. Uh, I guess this is going to attract a lot of suspicion for um, the other group that's biased, but hey, we're just... You're not a patrol. You're not a patrol. Do you guys need supplies too? Because... No. Strangely... Strangely, you all are fine. And you all have fuel, which is good, because I'm actually running sneakily low on fuel. So... Uh, let's drop off. Let's drop off th these beans. Let's get some more supplies. So um, we have we have good places to buy supplies from. Uh, we just want to try to flip them at the Targar or whatever it's called exchange. Um, you know what? We can we can do this the other way. I know I laughed off the um, market tab here, but don't we have like? A list of who who this shit would be cheapest from. It's all right. Okay. Let's see if we can buy some more. And maybe see what's going on up here. Because it looks like we have some pirate raiders. 
pursuing some pirate Reuters. Hey, that's um. This is this is pretty spicy all of a sudden. Okay. So three star, two star, lots of stars. You guys don't seem to really care. Um, let's see here. How much more can we buy it for? Ninety-two per. Well, we okay. They we need fuel, but we're it's it's probably fine. Um, let's just go ahead and fill up our coffers as best we can with this. It's we're spending money to make money is the rule here. Um, does this mean we want to get in a fight right here? Looks like somebody's gonna get in a fight with us anyway. So, battle fleet, you ready? You're not ready. Oh my gosh, you're really not ready. Let's try this real quick. Um, do 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 auto fit. That seems fine. By the way, any any other ships that I can buy from you guys that might be useful for this fight? Heavy frigate. Wow, that's actually a large energy, five small energy. Um, I'm going to buy the one with the one D mod that costs a lot less. Do we have any on the black market available? That would be nice. It doesn't seem like we do. Although we have a tumbleweed and another destroyer. I actually, I mean, I bet you're slow as hell. Oh, 130. That's respectable. Let's buy this one and see how it goes. Um, okay. So we have you close support frigate. Get up here. Let's get you on here. See, we're just totally bullshitting our way through Star Sector. It's my favorite. Um, a Beamer, a Defender, a Dis... Can we really get Attack Lance on it? No, it's not Attack Lance. Uh, Deathgate Assault Laser, though, seems like fun. Yeah, we're... Um, I don't even know what a Deathgate Assault Laser does. But with a name like that, we have we have to get it. We have to. What, is it, what does it actually do? It's pirate technology, obviously. Okay, you know what? We have a we have a little frigate. This is a frigate, I assume, right? That's a destroyer. Shit. Okay, well, swordsman class frigate. No, well, it says okay. Here's here's where here's where it bothers me. R and D class heavy custom frigate. So it's a frigate or it's a destroyer. It's Schrodinger something. The D might actually stand for something else this is fine we're gonna assume for the basis of argument that it is a frigate because i'm pretty sure i don't actually have like look at how tiny it looks here okay cool um yeah let's put a reckless officer in it with a target analysis that seems like something a little bat would want to apply veer mute go get up here Seems seems very exciting. All right, so if we're about to get in a fight, then uh, let's make it let's make it a good one. All right, hey guys, you really want to fight me? Um, com link. Wait, someone actually answered this? Yes, Sarah's Castillo. We are going to engage you. You are flying a fast assault cruiser, a scrap ship carrier, a modified freighter. And then a bunch of other shit. We don't have a choice but to fight now, so we're gonna we're gonna fight it out, and we're gonna send everything we have because we don't actually have all of our ships here. We're even gonna send a whiskey priest at you. That's how much you have offended our sensibilities. Okay, so we have nav Bowie, nav Bowie, com relay, sensor jammer. Um, gotta gotta start thinking about some of the stuff here. So you're gonna go and do this one you're gonna go and uh do the com relay and we're just gonna send everybody else like everybody that's up front and you we're gonna send you all slide to the left let's see how this goes like i said it's all it's all very exciting you really want to fight a shit ton of frigates I'll give you a shit ton of frigates. We get we are level six now. Um, I can't remember. I cannot use my overclocked weapons because I didn't check what day it was. But that restriction does not apply to the rest of my fleet. So this is uh, hopefully not going to be too gruesome of a combat. Hopefully, 
This is fairly standard. I can use the mod for moving faster here, though. We it's That's not technically an ability. So we got some little frigates down here, and it looks like we got contact. Because my ship's a little slow. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, as Wolfpack Tactics tends to work, let's go ahead and send y'all after the big gun first. Should be okay over here. You guys might actually die. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to have you make. Um, let's, let's send you all over here too. So we have two command points left. Look at how wasteful I am with these. Okay, so... Um, let me get his name right. Joe Steele, making it work. It just it just feels like the the old joke from uh, Arrested Development with Steve Holt at this point. So here's our team up here, fighting and firing, firing and fighting. The whiskey priest is taking fire, and we knew this was coming. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this buoy because no one else is going to, and we have somebody like having a lemon party up here. Uh, Baby Spice. Says they're Persian. Yeah, we don't believe you. So now I got to look and see who's a friend, who's a foe. We have everybody collapsing on this, which is fun. Um, are you like suddenly fast or something? No, I think it's. Oh, we're actually just kind of trying to get it to run away because, oh my gosh, who who is it other than uh, Darrow of Lycos that's actually kind of kiting a whole a whole cruiser all by your all by your lonesome? And now I'm just sitting here like. Who do I who do I fire on? We'll fire on you. Okay, so that's a start. Like I'm totally not hitting you at all. So spade destroyed. I have no sense of aim at this point. Okay. We're we're going to get caught out in a second. I got to remember I don't have shields either. I'm going to say that engaging shields is also not an ability. So how are you are you actually like are we just sending our people to our death here by trying to chase this down? That's fine. Let's um, let's collapse on this. Sorry, Alan. Please add name. Looks like you're gonna have some problems here, because we don't want to get too spread out. This guy is apparently really fast. Let's look at the info to see how fast. Sixty-eight. Apparently not that fast, but fast enough. Okay, so we're gonna get fired on a little bit, but their shields are like pointed in completely the wrong direction. So. I can take the nice thing about this is that I can take some hits. Okay, we should be able to take you down in a second, please. There we go. Please and thank you. We have a bunch of other shit over here getting attacked. Uh, invisible hand is having an invisible day here. Uh, we have lost the invisible hand. Um, we have actually lost a few ships. That's a little bit of a problem. Um, but we are kind of punching above our weight right now. So we're just going to focus on the plan, and that plan here is to try to collapse, stay as a little pack, and try not to get obliterated too badly. Um, and we'll see how this goes, hopefully without, like, friendly firing people. Hull breach reported from the short leg. That's not great. But we did, we did kill a donkey, somehow. Okay, so not trying to shoot my friends here. Okay, there we go. Another another one bites the dust. Who's left here? You guys are trying to defend this. We have this big thing up here. We're gonna we're gonna ignore this now. So how's our how's our reinforcements doing? We can't see what's been destroyed. But it looks like we have lost some officered ships. Okay, well, we're gonna we're just gonna have to make it work, aren't we? So let's uh Let's regroup on your face. See if we can get you guys in there to make this work. So we have one command point left. We have a few big ass targets left, but hopefully now we're not gonna get sprayed in the middle here. So that's a, that's scary spice too, down for the count. So I can see now why maybe we were having some problems versus this thing, cause we do not wanna take you on in the front. You can just uh, eat frigates for snacks here. And we'll just ram Coco uh, Mikokolo. That's fine. But if we can get you from behind, I, I will take I will take this hit so my team doesn't have to. 
That's that's what we call leadership here. But we got him this time. Come on. It's a lot of missiles coming my way. It's a lot of heat coming my way. I'm actually about to like get completely destroyed. There we go. So Razorback's gone. I think this fight's too important for me to just sit and watch it the rest of the way here. So who's left? Wolf, uh, the shepherd that we sh probably shouldn't have brought in here. Um, swordsman assault frigate. Let's uh, let's um, transfer command into that one. So where am I? First off, where where the fuck am I? Um, I guess we'll see here. But this guy's just about dead. If we can just continue to focus fire here, there we go. So we got some harpoon missiles here. Like, we had him. We had him down for the count. We just need to kind of get behind him a little bit. And like, we're, we're so close. We just need that kill. Like, Predator's down. Assault chain gun. That's not great. All right. It's time. It's time for the full retreat. All right. We try we tried to do it. We tried to do it, but um it was just a little too much here. So turns out a cruiser if you can't actually kill the cruiser, it ends up being a really big problem. Like the the goal with our our, our frigate swarm is to um Oh, it's actually retreating too. Well, that's that's fine. Like we we had it, but it's but that's but that's the point here of this whole run, this whole series, is that we're not flying a bunch of a uh, cruisers, carriers, things that are way above everything else. That we're just going to be able to win all the time. And this means because we retreated, we are going to lose some of those nice ships that we built. But it's okay. Um, we do have two destroyers we can get, and we're probably going to go for um, having something other than. Um, uh, or when we when we want to get some more destroyers, we're going to get some actual fighting ships for destroyers. So there we go. They're going to um, pursue us, perhaps. Or are they going to let us disengage? So who'd we lose here? We lost the Hungry Raven. We lost... Oh, that's them. Who'd we lose? Okay, so Invisible Hand, HMS Surprise, Marco's Missile, the Wevern, Thrush, um, Elisos... Tight Litany of Fury, Sporty Spice is gone, Stellar Oblivion, Scary Spice 2, Matilda. So some of the name ships actually like just totally defeated here. But despite retreating from the last engagement, your forces have disrupted the enemy and can successfully disengage without being pursued. So we lost 230 crew, so we do need to disengage. All right, and um, the pirates don't like us. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of commission here for hitting things we did get some more story points and experience they're standing down considering considering how tough of a fight that was um i'm not too sad although we are really gonna have to figure out like what we're flying what we're getting is there anything that we can recover here i don't know but we do have some money to make it work and very fortunately for us we still have enough crew because we lost a bunch of ships we still have our supplies I'm pretty sure. Okay, we may have lost some cargo here, so I think what the plan is now, if we're if we're gonna just have this issue anyway, where the cheater cheaterson here is gone. Okay, that is that's our only destroyer. I thought we had two destroyers. I guess we really did lose some other ships that I didn't realize. So we are we are definitely um, buying. I, I want to make sure here. Um, can, I wish I could sort by like what we have. So the Buffalo is definitely a destroyer. I don't think we have another one. So we, we're going to buy another cargo ship here. Um, Buffalo Freighter. I think 400 capacity is going to be the best we can do here. Somebody gave me a wheel spin that said, oh, don't worry. You can uh, you can upgrade some of your stuff here. Oh, man. That's a, that's a nice upgrade on the destroyer. 
but we're just we're just gonna buy the buffalo freighter buffalo i almost said like buffalo fritter so if we want to um i do want to keep in mind here that if we want to actually buy like one of these heavy frigates this is really good to know that this is here i do like this shield i don't think the one that i had survived though because reckless officers have a tendency to wreck your ships so we do have two of these now um i did get some uh I did get some words about like how I should be putting some stuff on here and like augmented field drive not doing much here. I should be putting militarized subsystems and stuff. That's fine. But um, we're here now. Let's just focus. Let's just focus back on our goal before, which was to uh, make some profitable trades. So we actually okay. So we did actually lose some of our shit just from ships that got destroyed that's uh that's really useful knowledge here so this is this is not going to be as high of a flip but it's fine um yeah so where are we going to next we're going to um i guess you guys still need these right um um megaron did someone just named Ron decide to name a planet after himself like a moron here? Um, let's see here. Do I have any extra cargo space? Because if they have extra volatiles, I can make that work. Repair your ships again for three supplies. Of course, y'all don't have volatiles. Why would you have volatiles? Um, nobody really nearby except for Legio, but um, that's not a great profit flip here. So we're just going to go north, possibly to buy a few more things. Um... And then we'll go south to make some big to make some big money moves. All right, cool. But yeah, we had some combat here. We got um, some more story points. Here's the combat results in the end. We very we very nearly got the frigate here. The thrush actually did really good. Sporty spice did really good. Invisible hand. Like I said, we had we had some ships that did really well. Um, the starfarer, piloted by Tony, uh, was the best of the ones that survived. So when we were able to get surround on ships, it worked out really well. The problem is that we weren't always able to get surround on ships. I will go back and name my ships. Obviously, we have to um, make some sequels here for the uh, Spice Girls, so that's fine. Also, October 25th, um, we're going to go ahead and order a jump out in hyperspace. It's just going to be crowded around here. Um, on the 28th, we can choose to, like unmark our stuff but i don't think we're going to need to um new shit here this one actually puts us kind of on the way of the research station it puts me in the complete opposite direction of what i want to go but i think we're just going to go west in a few um like there's there's no ticking clock that says we have to return everything right away um I know I've gotten a lot of comments saying things like, hey, you know what, it would be a really good idea if you um, turned your stuff around. Oh my god, they actually took another system, so I am going the wrong way. That's fine, uh, the Salt Mia Can and the Cathan system. I should I should pay more attention here, because we were at Cathan before. Okay, um... Where was Cathan? I should know this on a map. But yeah, there's a lot of talk about me getting back down and taking some stuff away from um, this place, which we're going to now. So, But I still think I'll have enough time and space to make this work. So October 28th, can't use any abilities. Survey a world here. Also to the west, that's fine. Uh, I really like the exploration aspect of this too, but I'm going to need... I'm going to need to get some more boats, and I'm going to need to buy some shit here in just a second. Um, survey a frozen world out here. We're just going to accept everything and hope that we don't piss off everybody when we inevitably fail. Analyze derelict ship. Also out here. It's the, it's the circle of exploring. Um, Alright, so we can't transverse jump right now. Okay, Togar Exchange. Let's, we're just going to hop in there first. Alright. I guess technically if a menu prompts us, we can turn our beacon on. 
They're still neutral. We've lost some more money, but that's fine. Oh, man. So they don't want to trade with us right now. Okay, November 1st. I hate, I hate sitting on the time frame here. Um, let's see. Because right now, right now we're just eating supplies. Kingdom of Terra's over here. Got a bunch of privateers all trying to do stuff. So they're engaged in battle November 2nd. See, inefficient plays fun. Third. Shouldn't have turned on my transponder. Fourth. Fifth. Thing is, it's like these guys are neutral to us. And these are all pirates. So this is actually pretty damn dangerous that I'm parked here for so long. Because they're just going to come after me. Okay, seventh. How much trading can I do in a day? Turns out it's going to be a lot. Okay, so 3,000. They still need a ton. We're going to black market trade here. We're going to trade every single supply that we have. Because um, we need the money. Um, I'm going to hold on to that because that's still free, free shit that I got. Um, this is fine. This is fine. We're not going to sell the weather manipulation core. Um, they still have that kind of deficit. Um, dockside bar, anything worthwhile. Uh, Off-brand data pad. Move 35 units of harvested organs to whip or customs. Nah. Um, all right. So let's go. Let's go up to the Reuter place up here and see where I can trade. Hopefully I don't get hit here. Okay. We got hit. So of all the places where I was hoping to maybe not have to worry about it, we had to worry about it here. So trade here. Um, Aegeal may be a better bet, but we can still do some trading here if we wait seven days. Seven days. <laughs> Okay, Reuter Union, first off, we did want to um, buy these things while they still exist. So we can't afford all of them right now. But we definitely want to get the Union HQ blueprint built by upgrading a Reuter Drives. And um, the Reuter blueprint package is very cute. Rock Pipper Shipworks blueprint. Okay, well, we definitely want to get this. So, hooray. That's a lot of money. We'll buy this too, but we're going to buy some shit on the market first. Um, need some more fuel. They actually need drugs here, huh? Could possibly make that work if I could get in here without the issue. Remember when I said they didn't have metal? They actually need domestic goods. Domestic goods are just so not great to flip. Um, okay. Let's buy all of these supplies. Let's buy as many supplies as I can carry. And uh, we'll try to do profitable trade the sequel. Can we just pass time here real quick? Or maybe we can cheat and do this another way. Let's, uh... Okay, we got... We advanced to level 7! Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! We're gonna get two wheel, wheel spins in one go just because I've been trading. Okay, that means I can actually um, assign a skill here. Um, plus two officers, plus two command points, plus one operatives. Or maintain level of officers under your command. Maximum skills, two command points. Um, we're gonna want to get both of those skills. But um, best of the best is good um but i think support doctrine is going to be really good for us eventually i think for now though since we're not like totally at the officer cap yet we can wait for just a minute and we've got two skills here so let's see electronic warfare flux reduction phase cooling not really very important cybernetic augmentation um plus to the maximum number of elite skills for the officers you command 
You know, I kind of like that one. Every deployed combat ship grants 1% um, ECM to the fleet rating. I kind of want to try this. I don't usually do much with ECM. We'll have story points to spread that around in a little bit. And then we can actually work towards getting um, automated ships in a little bit. Because we'll, we'll go for the cybernetic augmentation next. So any other officers that actually need a level up here, let's check. Um, level, 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 level. I've done really terrible leveling my officers. But anyway, I closed it before. So now we've got to open it back up again. Oh, Lord, it's a coming. Um, and you know what's going to happen, right? I'm going to get the uh, the same shit I got before. It's like I spun the wheel twice. Now, now the Internet's going to be really slow. There we go. Okay, very exciting. One, two, three. You don't know what that means, but I do. Let's spin the wheel of actual doom. We kind of need the wheel. There's the wheel. Okay, who knew that trading really well could get some good stuff? It turns out supplies were the secret. Three, two, one, spin. What is our fun going to be for the next level here? It's going to be... Oh, spin twice and follow both rules for Dural again. These are both going to be temporary things. I really thought we we're going to be able, to, we we're going to get no supplies from post combat. So we have two rules for the next level here. The first rule is going to be, oh boy, immediately fill cargo with domestic goods. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, thanks Corwin. And then our second one is going to be. Create an outpost of the nearest viable world. So, Corwin, you actually got both things here. And that's an uh, outpost at the nearest viable world. Well, I need to figure out and remember what stuff we actually need from the outpost. Sorry, I had to, had to fix a whoopsie on disabling windows. But there we go. So, oh boy, I have a little bit of money. Technically, my supply holds... You know what? I could really cheat that requirement, but that doesn't that doesn't seem like the best in terms of stuff here, but we can actually turn off our beacon now. So, that's exciting. Maybe the best part of this whole thing is that um we don't have to worry about that now. So, I could just buy domestic goods and fill up my uh, cargo here. Who I did it. Um that feels very gamey though, but so does buying domestic goods from the one place that like really really needs it. So, technically, technically this does it, because we're in the middle of a trade run. Um, but we can see about possibly buying a bunch of domestic goods from the Kingdom of Terra, because um, I'm, I'm trying here. Technically, this fulfills it, but I feel like 19 is kind of gross. Um, or maybe maybe I, I win the Wheel of Actual Doom. Anyway, 337,000. Good trades all around. We're all we're all very happy about that. Um, can I buy y'all's domestic goods? Yes, because you know what we're you know what we're gonna do. Also, um, let's go ahead go here upgrade this. Like I said just sometimes the supply market is what you need. So let's um. We've been here already. We uh oh Quirk's actually in some trouble. So let's get out of here before um, the Kingdom of Terror decides to have a bad day. You're standing down. Yep, sorry. Whew, I was about to say, we better not be enemies with them all of a sudden. Um, which means they're probably not going to want to trade with me. See, that's, that's the really big problem with the Kingdom of Terror there, is that they will... They are going to demand that we have our transponder on, and this they are really, they really like guarding their shit. Well, it's okay. Mm, are you are you pursuing me too? Like you're engaged in battle. Who's this flying at me? Oh, fun. Okay. Let's just eburn into this. Maybe not like that. Um, trade goods here. You all have domestic goods, right? Oh my god, you actually don't have enough domestic goods to fill up my coffers. Alright, well, we're, we're trying here. We're trying to fulfill this. Um, and I'm trying, I'm trying to do it the right way here. So, let's go to Prison Freeport. They have a bunch. 
and uh, then we'll come back and we'll pick up the stuff from Akari. Um, it's going to be time for me to finish the episode soon because I have some work stuff I got to do here. But I do want to take a look real quick at um, what's my accepted missions here. We still haven't gotten a fight with Brighton yet, and we don't have a ton of time on some of these. So I think my actual next priority is going to be to try to push out for exploration. I know that's going to leave me with some more docking fees, but as you as you can clearly see, we have okay. You guys are you guys are engaging, so we can turn on our beacon and no one's any the wiser. Um except for maybe you. Um But yeah, we don't have to do math for very long. We're just going to go to Prism Freeport, fill our fill our stuff here. We're, we're actually almost through level 7 already, which means if I do one more big trade, we might actually end up going over the over the top here. We're, we're getting too good all of a sudden. We're going to accept this one as well, because we got a bunch of shit down there in Nebula. I think it's, I think absolutely what we're going to do is some exploration, and then we will tow our ship here. So here we go. Prism Freeport. Everybody loves it. Um, trade goods... That's food. Y'all were supposed to have domestic goods. Here we go. Um, off the black market because who cares? There we go. We've actually filled our cargo with it again. Um, we also are going to need some more supplies. That's actually really good. We're going to need some more fuel. That's really good. Reuter Union. No, we don't want to buy that. Reuter Union actually has some shit as well. That puts us over the fuel cap. Um, did we buy too much shit? We bought too much shit. It's okay. Um, is there any shit we can dump? I guess other than supplies, not really. Um, how many supplies are we over? We're using 23 per day. All right, so we can just... Okay, we're going to drop these back off on the black market. All right, cool. So there we go. Got a little too excited. So let's go back to Akari, and we're going to actually... In the episode there, because next time we're going to do one more big exploration swing. We're going to set up some stuff, but the big thing I wanted to do was just make sure I had enough money to um, get the things we need before Akari potentially gets wiped off the map. So that'll be... That's that's important that we do it that way. Um, oh, they're actually at 11 o'clock. Okay. So... We can use this now. We actually almost made it to the 21st, and that's fine. But we're just going to... Um, we have now filled our cargo twice with domestic goods. Um, yeah. So let's uh, sell y'all... Suspicion level none. Suspicious, suspicion level little bit. Okay, I think 500 supplies is actually going to be more than enough. Um, Reuter Union here. Are we? How suspicious are we now? Medium... Regular suspicious, not huge suspicious. Well, since since we're here, let's go ahead and drop this stuff off. We actually still have a bunch of this shit that we haven't been able to sell, so... Uh, Cathon's actually on the way out. Can we buy some volatiles here at a decent price? I just need enough to flip. They demand 800, right? They have a deficit of 400. So we don't we don't need to buy too much there. I think I think we can just let it ride. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Once again, we do have um, this thing still in storage. Ooh, I totally forgot. We have some other good frigates here: Lamprey, Lamprey, and the uh, Lape Lass. Let's go ahead and get those out into the fold here. I'm going to be doing a little bit of shipbuilding off camera just because I'm out of time today. But yeah, this is one of the this is our custom order from our contact. We're gonna start here next time, but thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, like I said, I gotta I already the one reason I gotta stop is work. The other reason is that I've already forgotten what the other rule I'm supposed to follow is, but I'm pretty sure it's important and um like I said, I was so focused on domestic goods, but that's why we record the things. So thanks for watching. Next time we have so much so much exploration to do over here in just a few days to do it. We have a research station. We have a bunch of shit over here. And how's our fuel profile looking? Pretty damn good. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. May even pick up another dram depending. But y'all take care. There's more words I can say. But yeah, my, my brain's fried. I'm having fun though. Hope you are too. See you next time.